Hello there, my lovely audience. Tyler here, and today I will be demonstrating how you add your own character to Psych Engine. Well, F enough to be specific, but eh, you get the gist of it. So, evidently enough, you want to download the game. Don't download this version, April Fools. <laughs> and it's in this link over here. I'll put a link to it in the description in case you want to download the game for yourself. Download this version though. Make sure you download this version of Psych Engine. And luckily, I already have it downloaded to save us the hassle. Now, let's go into the game now. So, like I said, we're going to be adding our own character into the game. So, for example, we'll be using Wei. Let's go into his character over here. Oop. Go to shared. Images and... Oh, never mind. T bonus me. Oh, oops. My bad. Wii sprites are right over here, so you just want to copy them and put them in the Psych Engine folder, folder that you want. Don't make sure it goes into the mods folder, images, and characters, and just simply paste them over here. Go. Make sure to open the XML file. Why? Because it will be be important to us later on. It will be crucial. Just saying, giving you a heads up. Now let's open the game. Alright, we're in the game. Now, the first thing you want to do is press 7. What is this? This is... This is boggling my mind, I know. I know this is. This is different, isn't it? Now, all you need to do now is go into character editor. Oh my god, what is this? Uh, I, I, I don't even understand what this is. Like, what, camera zoom in and out? Reset character, move camera edit. Previous and next animation, I don't even know what's going on! Well, of course you don't know what's going on. Because you know, you saw Psych Engine before, that's why you're here in this video. Tell about a character. So, since we're using an opponent, we will be using either the dad or the mom. Since, well, they have the least style animation. Well, they have the least sprites, so... But for this example, I will be using the dad. Look at him. <laughs> Alright, so, we need to add our character. So let's open the witty sprites, and this is what we'll be typing in. Witty sprites, since that's his image name and XML. Make sure to type it in precisely though, just so it can actually work. There's witty, but no! Where's his animations? Wait! Oh, Tyler, you said this would be an easy tutorial. Well, actually, I never said that, but... Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but it is actually pretty straightforward once you get used to it. We have the XML file for a reason, not just to get his names, but as you can see there's his idle, down, left, up, and right. So what you want to do, let's do the idle first, and and let's uh, erase the dad idle dance, and let's type in the idle script that what he has in his XML file, right here. And then add update, and once you do that, it should work. See? There's a little idle animation. A little idle animation, really cool, am I right? Now we just do that for the others as well. It is pretty straightforward. Sing left. Here we are, here's his left animation. Sing down. Here we are. Sing up. And finally, sing right. And here we have his little animations right over here. We successfully added Witty. Though, of course, you can edit the sprites if you want to, just in case they're not positioned properly. As you can see, his left animation isn't properly on the ground like his idle animation is. So, what you want to do is gently move it over. You can also hold Shift and use the arrow keys to navigate it as well. And gently place it just like so. 
There we are. And we do the same for the others as well. And we have su successfully added Woody. Here he is, his character right here. But we're not done just yet. We need the health icon. And luckily, I already have this. Woody's icon grid. And here's the app that I use for it. Let me just get it up. The app I use is Paint 3D. Though other apps are also accessible. But I mainly just use this to add the icons really. And since we use the dad for this, we're going to be replacing his icon with Witty's. So what you want to do is grab Witty's icons separately though, just in case if something does go wrong. Individually, really. Copy that. And paste it here. And place it nicely over the dad icon. But just quickly remove it again. Just so you can remove the dad icon. There we go. Now we just do the same for the losing icon. Here we go. Just gently move it. Here we go. Get remove the dad. Place that here. Then what you do want to do is just save it, save as, and keep the icon on there. Just just remove the dad and just type it with whatever the hell you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna type it as what you just saw. I can really memorize it. Go back to Psych Engine. Go to Mods. Images, and as you can see, there's an icon folder. You want to save that over here. So let's go into that Psych Engine folder really quick, just so I can show you. And there's the icon for Witty. And as you can see, there's a help icon there. What you want to do is just do this. There we are. We have Witty. But uh -oh, the help icon is part. The health is purple. How do we change that? Well, get the icon color right here. Below reload image. There we go! We have that all set up and done. Now we just save the character. Go into Psych Engine, go into Mods, and then Characters on the top. Don't save it as the dad though, save it as we. And with that, I believe that we are done here. Let's test them out. I'm just going to go in fresh, just well, for an example really. And in order to get Witty on here, just press 7. Go to go to the opponent, scroll down, and then we have Witty right here. And boom! We did it guys! We successfully added Witty to Friday Night Funkin' on Psych Engine. Oh my god! This is big news! Look at this! This is so awesome! I can't believe it! You guys did it! You follow my instructions! Well, I believe that's all that I have to show here. I'm glad that you watched this. And make sure to uh, like, subscribe, and share this video around just in case anyone else in particular is struggling to add their own character. But now, you're probably thinking, Tyler, how do you add your own song to Psych Engine? I'll save that for another video. Until then, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all very soon.